Alright guys, so this is really, really cool. For the first time since 2001, it seems that some old, and I mean very old, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic footage has been dug up, unearthed, from the vault. Now look at this, man. I mean, this is like some pre-alpha stuff. I'm geeking hard, Box Bros. This is amazing. Uh, the video was posted by No Clip Game History Archive, and um, this is the E3 2001 behind the scenes closed doors demo of Knights of the Old Republic. Now, as you guys can tell, the layout here is vastly different from the final product. Like, look at that HUD, man. Like, that is an old-school HUD right there. I really, I can't get enough. I'm gonna leave a link uh, to the video in the description, guys. Go check it out. It's, it's some really cool stuff. They also show concept arts, which are really freaking cool. A lot of these I've seen before, but there are a few that I haven't. Like this concept art here of Malak, and some of these concepts here of like weapons and the breathing mass you can see there. And what I really found interesting was this model they were using to show off some old animations when they were talking about the engine. And this looks like a really early concept of Bastila, doesn't it? Now most of these animations they show were in the final game, but there's a few here that I guess never made it in. They must have just scrapped them or something, like this, uh, this sneaking animation they got here. Looks kind of like something straight out of Elder Scrolls, doesn't it? I don't know. That, that's probably the vibe they were going for when they originally made Kotar. Stop right there, criminal scum! Now, halfway through the video, they start showing off some planets. They show off Tatooine first. And this early uh, alpha version of Tatooine, Anchorhead, just looks completely different. It, it literally looks like the Battlefront 2 map or something. And some of the dialogues here are, I mean, it's just a completely different game. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing. Even the running animations are different. And, and what is that picture? Dude, like, who is that? Because he is definitely not in the final version of Gotar. And there was this one little uh, interaction that he has with a droid that I thought was uh, very interesting, where, where he, like, misses a ship or something. I'm going to show you guys that really quick. Check it out. Sir, what are you still doing out here? Your mission was clear. The Jedi Council expects you to be on board that ship. You have to hurry, sir. It's about to launch. Yeah, so like he misses his ship. I don't I don't know. I guess that was like a quest that again never made it in. Some of these audios I've never really heard before too. There's there's a lot of audio that plays that you've never heard in Kotar. So so I guess most of this just didn't make it in. But in the next planet they show, Terrace. Now, now you look at the doors here, guys. Those are the same doors they use, just much, much bigger. So it looks like a lot of the, uh, the, the early concept of Terrace, a lot of the assets here did make it into the final product. It's so freaking cool to see such an early concept of Terrace like this. You see Jedi running off in the distance there. And the battle system looks a little more fluid here. Actually, a lot more fluid. I mean, look at that. Oh my god, like, you don't see nothing like that in Kotar. It's kind of interesting how the animations went from being so fluid to being maybe a little bit on the clunky side in the, in the, in the finished product. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Kotar, guys. I love it to death. But it is a bit dated on the animation side. Just a little bit, just a little bit. So in the end, we get this shot of Terrace, which which is literally it's Terrace, guys. Like this, this straight up is just Terrace. It's probably the first thing they worked on, and they put the most work into Terrace uh, for the showcase here. And it's, I mean, I'd say Terrace is even more beautiful here than, than in the finished product. And look who shows up! <laughs> oh my God! It's Alpha Malik, boys, version 0.2. My man's be looking like Megabyte from Reboot over here. <laughs> I I just love it. This this is just such a great find. What an amazing thing to unearth. You know, such a piece of, uh, of Kotar history here. And again, there's a link in the description. Go check it out, guys. It's really cool. I'm so happy. The only thing I'm disappointed about is, you know, you think we'd be getting some news about the Kotar remake, but instead, the gameplay that we are seeing is of uh, over 22 years ago. 
<laughs> but it is what it is. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys if you haven't seen it or heard about it yet. Definitely check it out, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Box Bros.